But how can God use you if you are not going to allow yourself to be used because people think different from you? Ruining relationships, it's ruining friendships. If somebody don't operate the way that you want them to operate or they don't operate like you, then y'all can't coexist. If everybody in the world acted like me and I only hung with people that acted like me, oh, Jesus is coming back today. everyone welcome back to our channel the soren seaweed family i'm id if you're new here go ahead and smash the subscribe button ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video hold on i know y'all like this isn't the normal setup for friday mommy moments where is she at what is she doing i am in the garage you guys this is where i am mostly at um, you know, the kids are home, still remote learning. I am still homeschooling the twins. Um, I have orders out here where we have started our business and I create out here. And I'm like, a lot of people are always asking about the Friday mommy moments. When am I gonna do it? When am I gonna do it? And if I wait for everything to be perfect and like this and how it was before COVID, it's never gonna happen. So I'm like, look, take the camera out there with you and let's get to it. Now, with that being said, let me take a sip. See my Tamala. Isn't she cute? Let me see. You like her? You like her? She's pretty. Hmm. Only look back to see how far you've come. I'll drink to that. The box back there that got plain tumblers in it. I'm, I'm, Y'all, we here, okay? We right here right now, you with me, and we gonna do this. So let's jump right into this Friday, mommy. All right, so if you hear a car, if you hear someone talking, know that we have neighbors. Know that this is, you know how we have alleyways in the back where your garage is? Uh, I don't know, y'all drop it down below the alleyway where you drive through, park in the back, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so. <sighs> oh, excuse me. There's been a lot going on in the world, and there has been a lot of division, and what I know to be true is I know that is not something that God will want. And how many of y'all like, oh man, she talking about God already. <sighs> I just want to let you guys know that is not something that God wants. And it's like we have to choose sides. I'm not choosing a side. Okay? That's just what I'm saying. I'm not choosing a side. But we feel like we have to choose sides. We feel like if Sally likes Rick, then Sally does not like Sue and Bobby, if that makes sense, okay? Because I eat apples and you eat strawberries, it does not mean that we can't get along and eat fruit. I had to break it down like that. What I'm seeing is a lot of people, besides voting and all that, besides the whole Trump thing, the Biden thing, I'm talking about with everything in life, people feel like if their opinion, if somebody don't agree with them on something, it's so ruining relationships, it's ruining friendships. If somebody don't operate the way that you want them to operate or they don't operate like you, then y'all can't coexist. If everybody in the world acted like me and I only hung with people that acted like me, oh, Jesus is coming back today. That don't work. If you only can be comfortable around people who act like you, oh. Like, how does that work for me? You know what, I ain't dealing with them. They, I don't do this, I don't do that, I don't do this, nope, 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 nope. What do you want, minions? It, it, it's, to me, it's, it's not, that's not a way things should go. If you like 10 of my pictures, okay, on Facebook, let's take it there to social media. You like 10 of my pictures on Facebook and I only like two of yours. We can't be cool. I like banana pudding. You like cherry. So when I'm eating my banana pudding, you can't come over? Yes, I roll my eyes. I roll my eyes so hard they can get stuck. That doesn't make any sense. It don't make any sense. I have friends who I communicate with 
every single day. Every single day. Sheila and Bree, and they can call me out right now. Sheila and Bree, we met through YouTube, you guys. Met them through YouTube. We started a group in January. Every single day, thank God, since January, that's our anniversary, January 1st, we communicate in a group every single day, every single night, haven't missed a day. If you think that we all don't have difference of opinions, if you think that we all agree on every single thing, you crazy. It's three women we talking about. Not, nothing against the guys, but it's three women we talking about. Grown women, married women, with children. If you think that we all get along the whole time, the whole time, and I agree, I'm like, okay, Sheila, you like that? I like that too. Oh, Bree, you like that? I like this. I, I, no, I don't like that. That ain't for me. Oh, that's good for you. I'm still going to support you, though. I'm still going to ride with you, though. Oh, you messed up. You hurt my feelings. Okay, cool. That's cool. We moving past it, though. In life, in life, you are going to have people who don't operate how you want them to operate. But that don't mean that they messy. That don't mean that they not worth your friendship. That's not what that means. See, sometimes me checking myself, I was really self-centered and obnoxious like that. I felt like, oh, people didn't move the way I moved, then I can't rock with them. Well, let me tell you something, Ivy. Everybody ain't going to move with you the way you want them to move because that's not how God made them. Because I like apples and you like strawberries, it does not mean that we cannot be friends. It does not mean that we cannot hang out, okay? That's not what that means. That means that's what you like, this what I like, and I still love you regardless. You don't have to like everything that I do. I don't have to like everything that you do for us to coexist, for us to be friends, for us to get along in this world. And out here, you have people, okay, I do, you know, I'm African American, so of course I support Black Lives Matter, of course. You have people who don't want to choose a color and they're going to say all lives matter. They are not wrong for feeling that all lives matter because I feel that all lives matter. I do. But I also feel that Black Lives Matter as well. So, so let's get this straight. Now. They might be the ones over here only chanting all lives matter, right? And I'm over here chanting my, all, you know, black lives matter. But just because they're saying that all lives matter don't mean they're saying that black lives don't matter. Some people might, but that don't mean that's what they mean, okay? Because I'm saying that black lives matter don't mean I don't care about other lives, okay? You have some people out here, they are going to vote for Biden. You have some people out here that they are going to vote for Trump. Both of these people are not perfect. Nobody is 100% right over here and nobody is 100% right over here. You have people who are gun ho about Trump and gun ho about Biden. Neither one of these people are 100% right. Neither one of these people have policies that I believe in wholeheartedly because you know what? I don't believe in any human being wholeheartedly. What? But what you can do is pray for them to be the best that they can be and make the right decisions that they should make. Okay? If we go around hating, and I mean hating, I see the news, I look at the news, I'm right there with you guys, and people are hating people over a choice. Over a choice. It's getting so bad. It's just getting so bad. Like, I've never ever seen it so bad for people to even speak or verbalize how they're afraid to speak and verbalize how they feel because they're afraid to offend somebody they're afraid that if they offend somebody they're gonna lose their life they're afraid that they're the person on the opposing side that ain't nobody gonna like them they're not gonna rock and roll with anybody it's making it so difficult it's making it so difficult if i leave anything with this message today while i'm rambling on while i'm rambling on if i leave anything today i want you to know Please don't crucify somebody who thinks different from you. Please don't crucify somebody because they're not moving the way that you want them to move. Because you know what? You're not moving the way that they want you to move either. Show love. Show love. Through it all, still show love. And, and then some people are like, I get upset, okay? I have a spat. I, I get, you know, I get it. People get upset. They want to go, go to your side, go to your side. Come back. 
come back. If it's meant to, because some people, once they go on, see you later, don't come back. Don't you come back, Jack. Get, keep new, no, ain't no new. No, could love you from a distance, peace out. You have those, okay? But you know what I'm talking about. So, from the garage to wherever you are, I wanted to come and tell you to please think twice. Please think twice about your relationships with people, your friendships with people, the connections that you have with people. Because they think different from you or move different from you, it does not mean that those are people that shouldn't be in your life. Because they don't like something that you do, does not mean that y'all cannot be in the same room and y'all can't laugh and have love for each other. Because if that's the case, you're gonna have a really, really hard time dealing with love. And if you're a believer, this part right here, if Jesus and God only dealt with people who act like them, where would that leave us? If they only considered people who moved and acted like them, and they're flawless, they are flawless, where would we fit in? When Jesus was here, he told people, no, I want to go to them. The people that everybody was afraid to go to, the sick people, the leprosy people, all the people that, that oh, they're not a part of here. Oh, they shouldn't be here. They shouldn't do this. Shouldn't. The ladies, the, he, he went to them and he hung with them. He spoke to them. He talked to them. And they wasn't thinking like him at that time. But how can God use you if you're not going to allow yourself to be used because people think different from you? He can't, he can't, he can't. And at the end of the day, whether we like it or not, we want to be used by God. So I hope that you enjoyed this Friday puppy moment. And I guess I'll try to make it more better out here. I don't know. I don't have a problem with it. I, hey, look, I'm just trying to make sure that I communicate because I miss you guys. Okay, miss you guys. But until next time, you guys, if you have not checked out Seabird's Creations, the link is in our description. Go ahead and check us out and have an amazing, amazing, amazing Friday. And we love you guys. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people just like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Stewart Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out.